Hello everybody, welcome back to another adventure with Tutu the Traveler. Today we're going to be checking out my dad's hometown of Kibi in Ghana. We're also going to be checking out East Asikum. And I'm going to show you all some of the people that my dad grew up with. And we're actually going to talk to a 97-year-old elder. And he's going to tell us some of the things that kept him healthy and strong throughout his times. Yeah, this is Nanakwesi. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Ghana, I came. Okay. Yeah. Where there's a lot of gold and diamonds and more natural resources. We have a lot of more natural resources. East Sika is a beautiful village tucked in the mountains of Ghana. It's in the forest and it just has a beautiful feel to it, man. You walk around and it's just jungle free, fresh air. It doesn't get too hot. I mean, it's a perfect place, I feel like, if I was just trying to get away, man. I'd love to be out there again. Next up, we're going to talk to a farmer and he's going to tell us about some of his plants. So, what is your name? My name Ousu Amaraku. Awusu Amaraku. Amaraku. Well, mm -hmm. hello. Uh, so, what is your profession? Agri Agriculture. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. here you have a bunch of vegetables and stuff like that on your property? Yeah. What What are these vegetables? Uh, like, what is this? No, uh, this is ginger. This is ginger. ginger. Ah, and this and, is uh, cocoa yam. And then I have plantain. What are these little nuts right there? Yeah, when it's uh, matured, it falls and then it germinates. Uh, so so it's uh, transplanted. So what is that? That's we call seed. it the lavender plant. Lavender plant. Yeah, in the evening night, it gives sweet scent. Oh. The whole place becomes nice scented. Lavender. Okay. Mm. Deforestation in Ghana is a big problem because of the illegal gold mining caused by the Galamon Sioux. This is the damage that it does to the area that they leave behind. Next up, we talk to an elder, and he tells us about how he lived to be 97. So, what is your name, boss? Kwesi Ayabua for Buedu. Okay, and how old are you? I was born in, born on October, 28th of October, 1929. Wow. So, this year, I am 90, what? 2000. 92, huh? 93. 93. 93. Wow. So, I, what has you been your profession in your life? What, what is it? What has been your profession? Since? Oh, I learned economics, but uh, I, I have taken on the work of uh, winning souls for Jesus Christ. I have established a church. Oh. My son is Joseph Buedu, who was the Bishop of Christian Life Fellowship. He died recently, okay. about a month or so ago. Mm. And he has branches of these churches all over the world, mm. America, Britain, Africa, all over. Yeah. And his plan was to set up a village in this area. Yeah. He's bought a big land, land, so many acres. He wanted to build a Christian life village where there will be everything, churches, market, uh, uh, burial grounds, and all that. Unfortunately, he, the Lord has taken him away, and uh, I'm sorry to hear about that, sir. I, it's it's really broken me down. Yes, sir. But I'm asking the Lord to give me more strength to finish the work Joseph has begun. So, can I ask you something? Uh, what is something in your son's death that gives you strength, but what is something that's given you the strength to be 93 years old? What is, what is something that What's you... the secret? Yes. Uh, the secret is this, that I knew, sorry, I know from prophecies made on my life by internationally recognized um, What do you call these people who give prophecies? Like ministers? No. Prophet? Prophets. Yeah. And I will mention three of them. Prophet Anno is a well renowned prophet in Ghana. Uh -huh. Prophet uh, who is this other prophet? Uh, 
So they are your, like your spiritual leaders. Yes, oh. they are all my spiritual. All these prophets are my spiritual leaders. They have spoken into my life that the Lord has given me a life span of at least hundred years. Wow! And when I even landed from UK after so many years, a man called Yatechi saw me and said. Barring accidents, I say over your life, you'll be 100 years before you die. The man is still alive, no? Wow. So the other day I went to him. He's one of Ufuriata's children. Yeah. I went to him and said, yeah, do you remember your prophetic word over my life? You said, barring accident, I'll be 100 years. I'm praying over your life to live to see my 100th birthday before the Lord takes you. He's still alive. And I'm convinced he will live to see me hit 100 before he goes. In your 93 years, what is something that you do every day? I get up early in the morning at 4 o'clock every day, read the Bible, do exercises for half an hour, mm. then go about the church activities. I. Wherever I am, I fellowship with the churches, and we have so many branches. There is a, there are two churches in this area, one in Apapem and one in Afiesa. There are churches in Accra, churches in Suedru, churches in Tichamanti, churches in Kuforidua. It's 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 wonderful. Wow. The, the ministry is growing faster than. Ever. We all expect it. Wow. And I'm believing and trusting God that before he calls me home. You can complete your son's mission. That's right. He should continue to keep me strong. Mm. Let me finish my book I'm writing. Mm. A book I'm writing I have titled The Born Again Believer's Handbook. Okay. And this book, this is a vision the Lord gave me and I told my son Joseph. One morning... I woke up and said to him, the Lord has laid on my heart to write a book. And the title of the book is A Born Again Believer's Handbook. And I gave him the history behind the book. When I was 31, 30 years of age, 30 years old, I left this shore to go to UK in 1964. Mm -hmm. And when I was going, I received these messages. A, a young man I was working with gave me a Bible, yeah. a holy Bible. I will bring the Bible to show you so that it comes into what you are doing. And in this, he, he gave me a quotation, Joshua 1 verse 8, which says, this book of the law shall not depart from you and that you will meditate on it daily. And I, this is what I've been doing. Every morning I read the Bible. I read from Genesis to Revelation in a year. But every morning I read Solomon's wisdom. Solomon was so wise that the Lord used him to write what we have to do every day. Mm. So in his book of uh, in in his uh, in his book of uh, what was what this songs of Solomon Solomon songs of Solomon no no Psalms the the uh, um, oh. Wait, I'll bring the book. So After this part of the interview, my camera actually died, so we weren't able to continue the interview. It was a really cool time, though, getting to talk to the guy and getting to meet him and learning some of his stories. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you all actually enjoyed this entire video. It's been great. It's been real. From my family in Kibi to you all, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope you all are back, and I hope you all subscribe to the channel, man. Thanks for visiting. Y'all have a wonderful day. Love all y'all.